let's start. Let's start just sitting. Okay, sitting and breathing. Actually, I'm going to switch the fire off, otherwise I get you very, very frozen, hot, hot and toasty. Yes, little bit going to switch it off. Great. Okay, and we sit and breathe. Let's sit comfortably. Okay, and breathe a little bit, sorry, and just breathe in, feel slightly to the side. <laughs> Okay, just make yourself very comfortable. Then lengthen from the base of the spine upwards, from the hips to your armpits. Lift your arms and then take your shoulders back and just relax your shoulder blades flat on your upper back. Your hands somewhere on your thighs, thumb and finger connected, your chin level. Back of the head moving slightly back to elongate your neck. And then close your eyes and just notice your whole body, your whole posture. Make any adjustments you need. If you need to stretch your legs anytime, please do it. Stretch your legs, or if you want to change the cross of your legs anytime, please do it. And deepen your breath. Inhaling deep into the abdomen, middle chest, upper chest. And as you exhale, exaggerate, squeeze your tummy muscles in, exhale fully. And again, inhaling deep. Exhale fully and keep your breath deep, flowing, enjoyable. Expanding on the inhalation and contracting your tummy muscles on the exhalation. Try to use whole capacity of the lungs. Breathe in deep. Feel the expansion of the ribcage in all directions. And as you exhale, keep your sternum and your clavicle bones lifted. And so on. Inhaling deep. Exhale fully. Keep your breath deep and flowing. Remind yourself about your intention. We all have intentions. Your intention can be very small or very big. Your intention can be just for this yoga class or for a day, for a few days ahead. And if you are in doubt, ask yourself how you commit it to yourself. How you commit it to your health and find the inspiration in your answer. Take another deep breath before you open your eyes. And when you're ready, then open your eyes. Relax your arms, relax your legs, and come on your all fours. We do cut and cow stretch, we start to warm up. So move the glove to the side, come on your all fours, hands beneath your shoulders, knees beneath the hips and your toes under. Inhale and look up. And as you exhale, tailbone between the sitting bones, exhale fully. Inhale, abdomen down, lift your tailbone, create big wave through the spine, look up. And again, exhale and turn. And continue. With these gentle movements, creating a big wave through the spine. Notice how you feel. How's your back today? How's your lower back? The middle back? The upper back? Just checking all the sensations. Where do you need a little bit more stretch, perhaps? Or somewhere you need more strength and stability? And when you finish, your five repetitions, bring your back parallel to the floor, move your hands forward or your knees back where you have more space and come up to down facing dog. Inhale, lift your hips high, bend your knees a little forward and then squat walk a few times. Bend your right knee, then the left. We do this few times to start warm up the back of the legs. Gently, don't work very hard. This is just a warm up. Just start to warm up. A little bit more back of the legs, the hips, the pelvis. 
on your next inhale come up on your tiptoes look between your hands bend your knees and walk towards your hands into your forward bend make space between your feet hips width apart or wider and just check if you need more space if you feel very tight in your lower back just take your feet wider and with one hand on your pelvis check that your pelvis is tipping forward not back bend your knees more if you need to tip the pelvis forward hold your elbows and we start to move from side to side nice and gently again listening to your back and you don't have to do big movements maybe just little movements just enough to start to warm up and stretching a little bit more around your hips the lower back pelvis take another couple of deep breaths And when you're ready, we come up very slow, bend your knees more forward, hold your hips, lift your elbows, lift your shoulders, lift your chin, engage your tummy muscles and come up with your strong legs and strong tummy muscles in your inhale. Exhale, and just relax your arms, relax your shoulders, just soften, relax, relax, relax. Great. Okay, we're going to keep feet parallel, hips width apart, interlace your fingers, invert your hands and stretch upwards. And then move from side to side, nice and gentle. Stretch, stretching the sides of the body. Start to move a little bit more energy around the shoulders, around your hips. Well done. And then come back to the middle, interlace your fingers behind. We go to another forward bend. And then this forward bend, just watch me for a second. We're going to do this, we're going to stretch forward and as you exhale you're going to bow over your legs and maybe lift your arms a little bit higher so we want to stretch the shoulders a little bit more okay let's do it together so bend your knees a little forward inhale lengthen through the sides exhale bring your chest over your thighs relax your neck just nod your head relax and soften squeeze your shoulders at the back and lift your arms inhale lift your chin and stretch away from the hips and as you exhale, squeeze the legs and bow a little deeper, and so on. Inhale, extend. Exhale, strong legs, dummy muscles engaged, bow over your strong legs. And again, inhale, extend. Exhale, strong legs, strong tummy muscles, bow. Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your legs, bow a little deeper. We do twice more. Inhale, stretch forward, nice and easy. Listen into your body. Once more, inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, squeeze the legs and bow. Now lower your arms. Bend your knees a little forward, lift your shoulders, lift your chin, tummy muscles up and come up. Inhale, and then again, relax your arms and again, roll the shoulders. And even shake your arms, shake, 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 roll your shoulders, relax, keep your neck long and soft, and then come to the front of your mat. We do salute to the sun, a couple of rounds, and we're going to add a little different stretches, how to warm up around the hips and the shoulders. Bring your hands to your chest, check that space between your feet, hips width apart, inhale, lift your sternum, exhale, relax your arms. Inhale, very gentle back bend, or just stretch upwards. And as you exhale, forward bend, bend your knees if you need, touch the floor. Inhale on your finger button, stretch forward. Exhale, squeeze the legs and bow. Now slide your hands by the side of your heels and step back with your right. Right foot back, high leg lunge or lower leg lunge. If you feel high leg lunge too much, bring your back knee down. Take it easy if you need. Squeeze the legs, lengthen the tailbone and lift your chest. Take a deep breath. Exhale, stepping back into the plank or half plank. Squeeze your arms and your shoulders. Lengthen the tailbone towards your heels. We do a little challenge here. Place your right foot on top of the left heel. Squeeze the legs. Tummy muscles lifted. Take a deep breath. And then place your foot down, change inside. Now left foot on top of your right heel. Squeeze the legs. Tummy muscles lifted. Deep breath. And then bring your foot down, lean forward, knees, elbows, or just bend your elbows back. 
Lie down, point your toes back. We're going to lift just hands off the floor for raised cobra. Raised cobra without hands. Squeeze your shoulders at the back. Keep lengthening the tailbone to protect the lower back. And then touch the floor and come up gently, maybe just a little higher. But don't worry to come up way high. Keep your buttocks soft, your hips touching the floor. Shoulders lower, look up or chin, look straight, inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and stretch forward. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Shoulders are still lifted, toes under, down facing dog. Inhale, and lift your hips high. Press all finger parts into the floor and extend your thigh bones back. Heels down, have a good stretch, no rush. And if you have to bend your knees forward, that's okay. Bend your knees forward and lengthen through your spine. On your next inhale, come up on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, right leg up. You're going to step forward, big step forward. Back where you started. Even if you need to help with your hand, help with your hand. Bring your foot back where you started. Knee above your ankle. Squeeze the legs. Lengthen the tailbone we go into the twist. Right arm. Inhale, look up, follow your right thumb, look up, or just look to the side, just check with your neck what is more comfortable. Keep lengthening the tailbone to create more engagement on your tummy muscles. And lean back, back of the head, move into the heel behind you. Deep breath into your chest. And then exhale, look down, touch the floor, step back to down facing dog, and then we change side. Down facing dog, deep breath. Lengthen and then come up on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, left leg up. Big step forward, helping with your hand if you need. We want to see front knee above your front ankle. Lengthen in the tailbone. Now look into the left, left arm up. Look up or just look to the side. Again, squeeze the legs, lengthen the tailbone, lift your chin and move back of the head to the heel behind you. Deep breath, inhale, and as you exhale, tummy in, look down, touch the floor, down facing dog. Deep breath, stretch and realign the spine after the twist. Love this stretch through the whole back of the body. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees and walk towards your hands into your forward bend. Squeeze the legs, keep that energy, press down with your feet, come up, inhale and lift. Salute to the sun, exhale, hands to your heart. We do left side, inhale, exhale, inhale and stretch. Exhale, forward bend, strong legs, bend your knees if you need. Inhale on your finger pads and stretch forward. Exhale and bow, hands by the side of your heels, left foot back. High leg lunge, take a deep breath. Exhale, step it back into the plank or half plank. Strong arms, squeeze your shoulders at the back. Lengthen the tailbone to your heels. And again, we're going to do this little challenge in the plank. Right foot on top of the left heel, squeeze the legs, tummy lifted. Very strong tummy muscles. Inhale. And as you exhale, place your foot down, change inside. Left foot on top of the right heel, squeeze the legs, tummy lifted. With your all finger pads, press into the floor. Exhale, place your foot down, lean forward, knees, elbows, or just bend your elbows. Point your toes back, and again, you're going to lift hands off the floor, raise cobra without using your hands. Squeeze your shoulders at the back, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Press your knees into the floor stronger. Keep lengthening the tailbone towards your heels. And then touch the floor. Come up to raise cover just a little bit, bit higher. Lengthening the tailbone still, shoulders lower. Do double chin now, maybe lift your chin a little. Inhale. And as you exhale, drag your hands back and lengthen, lengthen, stretch forward. Shoulders lifted. Toes under, down facing dog. Deep breath. Hips lifting high. Press all finger parts into the floor and extend, stretch away from the back of the heart. Simultaneously, downwards to your finger parts, upwards to the hips, and then the legs moving back. On your next inhale, 
on your tiptoes. Look between your hands, left leg up and step forward, big step forward. Buffer started, helping with your hand again if you need. Bring your back knee down. Pardon for sensitive knee. If you need sensitive, bring the blanket here. Squeeze the legs. Come up with your hands on your front knee. Lengthen in the tailbone, tummy in. Keep your tummy muscles strong and stretch your arms. Crescent moon pose. Lift your chest and curl back as far as comfortably you can go. I want you to check your back leg. Can you squeeze your legs towards the midline? Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and stretch away from the hips, downwards and upwards. Deep breath. Inhale. And as you exhale, touch the floor, changing legs. You're going to step back to down facing dog first. Good stretch and then we change. When you're ready, on your tiptoes, right leg up, step forward, big step forward, back foot started. Now your left knee on the floor, Again, padding for sensitive knee if you need. Squeeze the legs, come up with your hands on your front knee. Tailbone between the seat and bones, tummy in, and stretch your arms, inhale. Breathe. I want you to check your legs again and your hips. Squeeze towards the midline, and then try to stretch from the middle of the pelvis, downwards, simultaneously upwards. Downwards and upwards. Extending and stretching, creating more space. Inhale. And as you exhale, squeeze the legs, touch the floor, down facing dog. Step back, have a good stretch. And if you want to sport walk, this is good. Sport walk, we started to move more energy, run the lower back and the hips. Moving the hips from side to side. A little bit more energy, letting go of unnecessary tension. Well done. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees and walk in. Walk towards your hands, into your forward bend. Make space between your feet, hips width apart or wider. Squeeze the legs. Keep that energy. Bend your knees if you need. And then come up. Inhale, come up. Side to the sun. Exhale hands to your heart. Take a deep breath and then relax your arms. Well done. Watch me for a moment. So for the next posture, you might need to use, to use the block. I show you a, a triangular pose and then reverse triangle. So this is what we're going to do. Okay, demonstration. With the block, if you have very tight hamstrings, it's very useful to have the block here this way or maybe this way. So the shape looks like that. We're going to lengthen, then stretch to the side, one hand down, one arm up, lots of energy on the legs. If you don't need the block, you just move the block to the side, hold the floor, or maybe even take this hand behind and you extend a little bit more. When you finish, you're going to look down, bend your front knee and step back to down facing dog sport walk a few times and then we change side. Okay, and then I show you the reverse triangle. So let's do triangle first. Grab the block if you know that your hamstring is pretty tight and you will need support. We're going to step back with the right. Right foot back. Big step back. And then check. Front heel in line with the middle of your back and step. Place the block just here in front, of, near your foot, in front of your left leg. And take your hands to the hips. Triangular pose is great for realigning and also strengthening the hip joints and strengthening all the muscles around the pelvis. So let's just make the pelvis or the hips parallel to the long side of your mat. Now, if your front knee is very tight, lift your toes upwards and press your heel down into the floor. I know when we rotate the hips, when we realign the hips, sometimes it's too much to ask from the knee joint. So please do it as if you need it. Lift your toes up. Inhale now and lengthen. Exhale. Squeeze the legs and fold over your front leg. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your hips. Now place your left hand down on the block, on the floor, beneath your shoulder. With your right hand, move the hips back. Give yourself more space from the hips to your armpits. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Look to the side. Or maybe stretch your right arm and look up at your right arm. 
or just somewhere to the ceiling. And for the left hand, if you don't need the block, you just place your hand on the floor, on your finger pads. So you have more mobility on your shoulders. You can lift your heart center and look up, opening your chest. Squeeze the legs, keep that energy on the legs, draw towards the midline and then stretch from the hips downwards and upwards. Maybe taking your left hand behind your leg, but don't worry to do everything. It's fine. Just breathe where you are with ease. Breathing deeply with ease. Inhale now. And as you exhale, look down. Bend your front knee and touch the floor. We're going to step back to down facing dog. Step back, have a good stretch and deep breath. Slow down your breath. And then we change side. Come up on your tiptoes, walk towards your hands. Keep your knees bent slightly forward, hands on the hips, elbows, shoulders. Come up, inhale, come up. And we change side. We take the block with you and you step back with the left. Left to back, big step. Block goes for your right hand, just in front of your right leg. Okay, hands to the hips. We're going to check how, how you're feeling with your hips. Let's realign the hips. Hips parallel to the long side of your mat. And how's your right knee doing? Do you need more support for your right knee now? Lift your toes upwards. Press that right heel down into the floor stronger. Inhale. And as you exhale, let's stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And then place your right hand down. And maybe your left arm up or just holding your hip is also good. So whatever variation you choose, breathe with your hand, maybe with your left hand, encourage your hips to move back a little bit more and then again stretch. Choose your variation, what is right for you. Grab the block if you need or if you don't need, finger pads on the floor. Breathe. Tummy muscles engaged. Maybe take your right hand behind your leg if it's appropriate. Just listening to your back, listening to the hips. Keep engagement on the legs. Draw the legs towards the pelvis and stretch from the pelvis downwards and upwards. Another deep breath. And then when you finish, bend your front knee. You touch the floor by the side of your foot. Step back to down facing dog. Give yourself a little stretch and even sport walk, moving the hips from side to side. Just check how you feel. How are you feeling now? So we started to move deeper into the muscles around the hips, around the pelvis. On your next inhale, on your tiptoes, look between your hands, bend your knees and walk towards your hands. Into your forward bend, hands to the hips. Lift your elbows and your shoulders, lift your chin, tummy muscles strong and come up, inhale, come up. And then relax your arms and just relax your shoulders. Okay, we warmed up very nicely with the shoulders and the hips. So the next posture, reverse triangle, going to be a little bit easier. And I'll show you first. So again, block if you have very tight hamstrings. We're going to do this, we're going to step back with one foot. Now, we're not in line, feet not in line. So now you want to, to have space between your feet, hips width apart. And the block goes again in front for, for the hand, for another hand. The reverse triangle, it's a little twist. So we're going to move into the twist. And for the twist we know, we want to have hips steady, pelvis level, and lots and lots of length through your spine. Okay, so watch me for a second. So yeah, I'm checking my hips facing forward. I'm drawing my legs into the hips, hips into the middle of the pelvis. And then I'm going to fold forward. With the pelvis level, with the back long, placing hand on, on the block beneath your shoulder this way, maybe this way, or maybe just on the floor. And I'm going to keep my back long, tummy muscles engaged, looking to the side, maybe even stretching one arm upwards. And if you feel very steady, maybe move your hand closer and closer to your foot, or maybe even behind your foot. So this is a little bit more deeper twist here, but please do listen to your body. And when you finish, you bend your front knee. We're going to come up, step forward. We're going to shake the legs and then change side. Okay, let's do it together. So come to the front of your mat and step back with your right, right foot back. And check there's a space between the feet, hips width apart. 
block or the brick goes for your right hand. Now checking the hips facing forward. We want to stay the legs. Draw the legs into the pelvis. Squeeze the hips towards the middle of the pelvis. Lengthen and then fold forward. Fold and fold and fold. Now right hand goes down beneath your shoulder. Take your left hand to the hips and check the hips level. Usually we need to move the front hip a little bit more back and the back hip a little forward. Check the hips level, squeeze your tummy muscles up to your spine and then look to the side. Okay, I don't need a block, I'm just going to place my hand beneath my shoulder on the floor. You lengthen, keep your tummy muscles tight, top shoulder back. Maybe you can stretch your left arm upwards, maybe even look up at your thumb, but don't worry to do everything. Squeeze the legs. You sort of drawing the legs into the hips and then stretching from the middle of the pelvis downwards and upwards. Okay, lots of extension. Maybe moving your hand closer to your foot, maybe not, don't worry. Okay, just do what, he, what is right for you, listening to all physical sensations. This is a great stretch for all the muscles around the hips and the lower back. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down, bend your front knee, touch the floor, move the block to the side. Let's step forward into the forward bend, squeeze the legs, hands to the hips. Elbows, shoulders, lift your chin, come up. Inhale. And shake your legs. Relax, 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 relax. Great, we're going to change direction. Okay, take the block with you if you need. Step back with your left. Okay, checking again, hips facing forward. Block goes now for the left hand. Inhale, lengthening through the sides. Exhale with the steady legs, folding forward. Fold and fold. Take one hand at the back of the pelvis, check hips level. Okay, left hand down on the block, brick or the floor. Move the hips back, lengthen and then look to the right. Take your time, no rush. Squeeze your tummy muscles up to your spine. And maybe you can stretch right arm upwards, maybe not. Maybe just holding the hip is enough. Breathe deeply. Lift your chest, shoulders back. Deep breath, squeeze the legs into the pelvis and then stretch from the middle of the pelvis downwards and upwards. We want that extension from the hips. Moving your hand closer if you can, but don't worry to do everything. Inhale. And as you exhale, look down, bend your front knee touch the floor, we're going to step forward into the forward bend, step forward, take a moment here, squeeze the legs, take your hands to the hips, lift your elbows, shoulders, lift your chin, come up standing, squeeze the legs, come up and then relax your arms and relax your shoulders, just soften. Okay, watch me for a moment, we go into the squat, the squat, Malasana, I want to show you how it looks first, so if you're not sure, you can have your feet, or if you're new to this posture, you can have feet wider, not necessarily together. Okay, feet wider, then or somewhere like hips width apart. And you're going to hook your thumbs, stretching your arms forward. And then we go into this posture, we're going to take knees wide. And if you feel, okay, that's a bit too much, you need to come up on your tiptoes. You just come up on your tiptoes and you squat this way. So squat this way and you're just going to hold the floor and move your heels back and down, back and down and relax in your neck. And if you have to come up with your heels off the floor, that's also good. Okay, so let's try it together. Try it together. So feet, maybe together if you know this posture well, or maybe just hips width apart and then you hook your thumbs, you stretch your arms in front, inhale, and you're going to squat, taking the knees wide. Knees wide, squat down, come up on your tiptoes if you need, touch the floor and relax your neck. Okay, come up on your tiptoes if you need, that's absolutely fine. Okay, we're trying to move your heels down, down and down towards the floor. We're trying to keep your feet flat if possible, but don't worry to do everything. Okay, take your time here. This is a great posture to stretch the hips, especially after reverse triangle. So stretching the hips, 
the pelvis, back of the pelvis, the lower back, creating more space, more space between the sitting bones, more space for the lower back and the hips. Another couple of deep breaths here. How's your tummy muscles? Lift your tummy muscles up. Keep your core muscles supporting your balance. Now we're going to come up. Come back on your tiptoes with your knees facing forward. We're going to the forward bend. So lift your hips high, your forward bend, squeeze the legs. Maybe this time bring your legs together. Legs together and feet touching, knees touching. Squeeze the legs and bow over your legs. Deep breath. Lovely stretch for the back of the knees. Especially good after the squats. Great. And what we do now, we're just going to bend knees and sit on the floor if it's appropriate. Can you do this? Can you bend your knees and can you sit on the floor? Sit on the floor if that's all right or sit in your fashion way and then stretch your legs to the front and give your legs a little shake. Relax, relax, relax. And then find yourself a block. If you don't have yoga block at home, just fold the blanket and sit on it. We do a little bit more for the hips. Okay, sit on the block and bring your feet together. So we go a little bit deeper now into the inner thighs. We go deeper into the back of the pelvis and the hips. Okay, feet together, Padakanasana. You hold your shins above your ankle joints. Look at your feet and you'll want to squeeze your feet. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Those four corners of the feet pressing against each other. Which four corners? Just quickly remind you, big toe joint pad, inside of the heels, little toe joint pad and outside of the heels. So the four corners, squeeze. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, tummy in and start to fold forward from the hips. It doesn't matter how far you go. Shoulders lower, elbows wide. Press your elbows onto, into the inner legs and your inner legs into the elbows. We're trying to create good resistance and still moving the hips back. Inner thighs moving back, thigh bones moving back and you're folding forward. It doesn't matter how far you go. So let's do this first round as a warm up, gentle. And then we're going to go a little bit deeper. So this is your warm up. Don't, don't worry to go far. Squeeze your feet, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lengthen forward. And then inhale and come back. Inhale, come back. Shake your legs. Let's relax legs. Okay, relax, relax, relax. And we do second round. Maybe go a little bit deeper, maybe not. Just again, listening to all the sensations. Okay, and again, bring your feet together. Four corners of the feet pressing against each other, toes active, hold your shins, inhale, lengthen, exhale, lots of tummy muscles and folding forward, the heart reaching forward, keep the length, elbows wide and you press your elbows into your legs, legs into your elbows, keep moving forward, stretch, 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 squeeze your feet again, just have a look at your feet, spread your toes a lot and keep lengthening and lengthening forward. Elbows pressing into the legs, legs into your elbows. And if it's very easy, touch the floor and walk your hands a little bit more forward. You fold in more into your forward bend above your feet. If it works for you, but don't worry again, just do what is right for you. And maybe you can move your hips back and lift all the block. So you would, in this option, you would balance on outer edges of the feet, but don't worry to do everything. Watch your knees, just check with your knees, is that okay for your knees to do this movement? Maybe it's fine. And then we're going to come back, come back, sit on the block, move the hands back and relax your legs. Relax, relax and shake your legs, relax, relax, relax. Okay, great. And then sit comfortably and watch me for the next move. Okay, block to the side. Okay, watch me for the next one. Options here. We do a little bit more for the lower back. Okay, we're going to stretch one leg. We warmed up nicely and we're going to bring that shin on top of the thigh, one hand on top of your knee, somewhere here or closer to your knee. And you're going to push that thigh bone forward 
checking space between your lower back and your yoga mat and maybe this is just enough for you for today and that's fine or maybe you can interlace your fingers behind again lie down check the space or maybe you can stretch one leg up or maybe you can hold the top of your shin and then squeeze your leg closer to your chest this is goes a little bit deeper into the stretch but please do listen to your body okay let's do it together you lie down on your back and then you stretch your right leg up and you flex your foot okay now keep your foot flexed toes active place your shin on top of your left thigh okay, and then take a right hand somewhere near your knee and push that thigh bone forward so you know that you start to restore the slumber space space between the lower back and your yoga mat engage your tummy muscles maybe this is enough or bring your left knee closer to your chest and hold the back of your left thigh with your hands interlace your fingers behind and then again lie down check a little space between the lower back and your yoga mat maybe stretch your left heel up towards the ceiling flex your feet now you're flexing your both feet toes active on both feet and with your right arm with your right elbow can you press your right elbow into your thigh create that a little resistance there so you're sort of trying to push your right thigh away so you have a little resistance there between your right elbow right thigh maybe this is just you for today or hold the top of your shin and squeeze your left leg a little closer so you go deeper into the stretch here okay, don't worry to do everything okay, listen to your back listen to your body lovely stretch we call this one million dollar stretch because a lot's going on here and can you squeeze your tummy muscles in belly button into your spine solar plexus into your spine we want to support the lower back squeezing squeeze 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 tummy in so whatever you choose core muscles supporting the back lovely now we're going to release so release your leg place your left foot down and you can you stretch your right heel up give good stretch for the right leg for the back of your right leg we change now left leg up flex your foot spread your toes and place that chin on top of your thigh left hand somewhere near your left knee push your thigh bone forward tip the pelvis forward check again there's a space okay this is good maybe this is enough of the stretch gentle stretch or bring your knee right knee closer interlace your fingers behind okay and just check again a little space between the lower back and your yoga mat take your time maybe this is you or maybe you can stretch your right leg up again with your elbow now on your left side that left elbow just press into your left thigh create a little bit more resistance there that will help you to create more space for the left hip deep breath maybe this is just enough of the stretch or if you want more you can try to hold the top of your shin and check if it's suitable for you toes active on both feet Especially on that left foot can you check your left toes active just check spread your toes there enjoy the stretch I know a lot going on here around your hips the lower back the pelvis how's the core muscles can you squeeze your tummy muscles in squeeze squeeze, squeeze. well done another couple of deep breaths on this side great and then release right foot down and you stretch your left heel up we want to stretch the back of your left leg okay lovely stretch very good and bring your knees to your chest both knees we're going to rock from side to side giving the back of the pelvis and the lower back little self massage rocking and rolling let's loosen up okay lovely gentle self massage rocking and rolling should feel nice for the lower back okay, nice easy creating a little bit more energy creating more space and freedom for movements mm. 
Well done, everyone. And then roll over to your right hand side. And then come up sitting. Okay, great. And then sit comfortably, please. I'm going to show you or remind you quickly the shoulder stand, half shoulder stand, or just the block under the hips. So options, nice and easy. Take the block or the brick under the hips and you're going to stretch your legs upwards. Stretch your legs upwards, relax here if this is you or if you're happy to go to shoulder stand or half shoulder stand, you're going to set your shoulders first. Shoulder blades flat on the floor, your chin lifted. We want to remember that we don't want to bring neck on the floor, especially that seventh vertebrae. So there's a space between the base of the neck and the floor and then you roll up. Reach out like roll up, catch your hips, this is half shoulder stand. Or maybe you can lift your legs a little higher for the full shoulder stand and then you move your feet away from the face. So I'm going to check my neck again, chin lifted, I don't feel the base of the neck on the floor. So maybe this is you or touch the floor behind with one foot, with another foot if you can do this with two feet, interlace your fingers or just hold the floor and stay here. This is the plow pose. 30 seconds would be enough in this plow pose. Again, checking, okay, base of the neck is not touching the floor. And then you come back, come back to your shoulder stand or half shoulder stand, bend your knees and gently unroll vertebra by vertebra. Okay, and then feet on the floor. Okay, so let's choose what is more appropriate for you. Okay, block maybe beneath your hips. So if you're doing the block, you lie down first, then lift the hips and bring the block under the hips. Whatever way you feel you need it, flat block or maybe put it on the side to have a little bit more height, but be comfortable and then you stretch your legs and you relax here. So this is sort of getting used to, to have your legs over the head and this is nice and gentle option. Or you are in a shoulder stand the half shoulder stand, whatever suitable, checking your neck all the time, chin lifted, base of the neck not touching the floor. Looking up at your feet, you squeeze your feet and lift them up as high as you can. Checking the neck, the neck comfortable. The shoulder stand called mother of the postures because of the benefits of this posture working against the gravity, massaging the heart, massaging the lungs, the thyroid gland, improving the lymphatic flow, which improves your immune system. And the greatest benefit of endorsions or the shoulder stand, calming the mind. Lots of blood rushing into the brain oxygenating, rejuvenating, at the same time calming, calming the mind, nothing to do, just be in this posture. If you practice in the plow pose, take 30 seconds, no more, that 30 seconds would be completely enough, absolutely enough in the plow pose, because it's quite advanced stretch for the neck. If you can interlace your fingers, then you press your arms into the floor with your fists, or maybe just hands holding the floor with your hands. Whatever is suitable, listening to your body, checking your neck again, chin lifted, base of the neck not touching the floor, easy breathing, And coming back to your shoulder stand or half shoulder stand, okay, take a moment here. Don't rush to release the pose. Just check how you feel. And when you're ready to release your posture, then you bend your knees. Engage your tummy muscles, hold the floor and slowly unroll. Vertebra by vertebra. Unrolling gently using the tummy muscles and then place your legs on the floor and move your head from side to side, from shoulder to shoulder. Let's relax neck. Relaxing the neck muscles, 
from shoulder to shoulder. Well done. And then roll over to your right hand side. Come up to the seating and watch me for a moment for relaxation. I thought I would show you this uh, option. We worked a little bit with the hips and for relaxation. If you want to continue to stretch gently uh, your hips or the muscles around the hip joints and the back of the pelvis, this is a lovely posture. So you will need two blocks or two cushions or two bricks or just couple of blankets for each side so because you want to support your shins or, or your thighs and also you will need a blanket to cover yourself so I'm just going to show you how it all looks I like this variation of shavasana or relaxation posture so this is what you're going to do you're going to lie down with your feet together and you're going to place the blocks here so the blocks here supporting your shins or your thighs if you need it. You might not need them at all. Sometimes I don't use them, but please do if you feel you need it, use the block. So you have lovely passive stretch, you can relax completely. And this is your blanket. You just cover yourself, make yourself very cozy, comfortable, warm, and you just relax there. So this is, this is what I like to do when I feel like I want to have a little gentle stretch for my back, for my hips, and I relax like that. Okay, so please do make yourself comfortable, cozy, take the blanket, take a couple of cushions or a couple of blocks to support your legs, and you relax. Okay, I'm going to sit for you and guide you with relaxation. Please lie down, relax, make yourself very comfortable. Okay, warm, comfortable, so you can easily relax. Okay, I'm just going to cover my legs. Okay. And when you're comfortable lying on the floor in your Shavasana, just mentally scan your whole body from the crown of the head to the tips of your toes. Exhale and soften. Exhale and let go of all the unnecessary tension. It might be physical tension, it might be stress or anxiety, or just negative emotions or judging thoughts. Just letting go of everything that you don't want to hold on anymore. Exhale and soften. Exhale and let go. Letting go of all the unnecessary tension. Notice your breath again. Slow down. Make your exhalations a little longer than your inhalations. And you can use your long exhalations to soften, to let go of all the unnecessary tension. And just again, mentally scan your whole body and find the places in your body which feels pleasant and stay focused on that pleasant sensation. Allow the feeling to spread through your whole body. And as this feeling of well-being spreads, reflect on all the good fortune in your life. Begin with the fact that you have been born human, which comes with embodying consciousness, awareness of your own experience, the capacity to learn, and the ability to communicate with others. Acknowledge gratitude to all those who have nurtured you, starting with Mother Earth, and including all who've contributed to your development and sense of worth. Your parents, 
your family, friends, teachers, and spiritual guides. Think of the many ways you've known delight in your body and mind, the ways that your heart has been touched and the ways you touched the hearts of others. And as this gladdening of the mind repents, stay connected to the feeling of well-being in your body. And as your mind becomes happier, you notice that your ability to focus becomes easier. And this enhances the feeling of well-being. And when your meditation ends, invite those feelings to stay with you as you go about your daily life. Enjoy your breath. Now, as your relaxation and meditation comes to the end, bring your awareness back to your surroundings, back to the room you are in, to your friends, to your family, to your pets next to you, and deepen your breath. Extend your inhalations, exhalations, reawakening the energy in your body, and then wriggle your toes and your fingers. Slide your legs together, arms by the side of your body. Inhale and stretch. Take your arms over your head on the floor, stretch your way from the waistline, stretch to stretch. And when you feel sufficiently stretched, bend your knees to your chest, hug your knees with your hands and gently rock from side to side, reawakening the lower back. And then roll over to your right hand side, slowly come up to the sitting and then sit comfortably for a moment with your hands in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Inhale, lift and lengthen and then slightly lean back to feel strong support of your back muscles, support steadiness of the universe. Reflect your practice, reflect your intention of the practice, notice how you feel. Enjoy extra strength, flexibility, and clarity of mind. Wishing yourself health, happiness, and freedom from suffering. We finish with one gentle OM. Exhale first. Inhale. By your head to your heart, to the light within you, and open your eyes. Well done, everyone. Thank you very much. Namaste. Have a lovely day, and see you soon.